Hey my people, how are you doing? I hope you're having a damn good day. Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be doing Eddie Howe's tactics for Newcastle United. They've obviously had a great turnaround to their, well, just their time in the Premier League, of course, last season almost relegated halfway, well not almost relegated, but they were in the relegation zone, bought some players, did fairly well and this season they're absolutely flying. I mean, what are they, third, tied for third at least? Um, third or fourth, if they make the Champions League, that is an absolutely outstanding achievement. And it just shows you that money does, when spent in the right areas, money can help. So, as you can see here, Eddie Howe uses a 4-3-3 well, a system with um, a slight variation in the midfield. And of course, a slight variation with the wingbacks slash fullbacks. Um, but yes, as you can see here, we've put new boy Anthony Gordon on the wing. Another new boy, Isaac. Isaac, Isaac on the, uh, well, as a striker. And then, of course, Almiron, who's having a fantastic season. Um, he'll be on the right wing. So, yeah. As you can see here, the tactics. Something that is quite crazy. Um, the, the constant pressure, of course, you saw with the Brighton tactics, the Deserby tactics, I should say. Um, when you set constant pressure on, it does drain stamina like crazy. Like, all my days it drains stamina. So just be a bit aware of that, especially if you're using this set of tactics in career mode. So, yeah, just, just be aware of it, you know. Um, one thing that Newcastle are very, very good at this season in the Premier League is their defense. Like, they are insane. They don't concede goals. Um, they do struggle from time to time to score those goals, but... The reality is they don't concede goals. If you score a goal against Newcastle, it is a fantastic achievement for your club. Um, so yes, width for the, the defense is set on 30. So they are always forcing the opposition to go try and take it down the touchline and try and drill it across from a byline pass or maybe try and cross it. But of course, Newcastle United have got some massive players. Of course, they have a six foot seven goalkeeper in Nick Pope. They've got Dan Byrne as a left back, who's also like six foot something. Um, Shaw, um, Botman, of course. And then let's not talk about Joe Linton, um, Gimaraish and so on. So they have got a very big team and that's why they don't concede goals because they're literally forcing the opposition into doing something that they're so good at defending and so good at, and that's the aerial abilities that their players possess. So, of course, width set on 30, depth set on 55. Of course, you can take it up to about 65, and you can take it down to about 45, depending on who you're playing. Of course, if you're playing a Man City, I would suggest uh, 45. If you're playing an Arsenal, suggest a 45. But if you're playing like a, a Southampton, maybe take it up to 65. Of course, they do maintain a, a mid block or a low block depending on how high or low you have the depth set as because of course it's defense first for Newcastle and defense first for Eddie Howe. As for the offense we have it set on a slow build up and direct passing of course you're looking to always find the runner or you're always looking to find the overlapping player from time to time and um, you just need to hit them of course. As for width attacking wise they have a lot of good um, wingers of course same, same maximum new boy Anthony Gordon, Almiron um, Murphy as well, not the best, but he is a fairly decent winger. So you want to have the play um, along the, the, the touch line a bit more. Um, and your midfield three of Joe Linton, Willock, as well as Gimaraes will be looking for passes out wide. And of course, you've got uh, probably one of the best set piece deliverers in the game in Kieran Trippier. So he will be making runs from time to time um, past Almiron. And you'd want him to be as effective as possible, otherwise, He's just a waste in your team. As for players in the box, you want to sit on eight. Of course, the, the likes of Joe Linton or even Willock making runs into the box is essential. Having a, a bit of an overlapping or extra man in the box is what Newcastle tend to, to play on. And um, it just works out quite well for this team. As for corners and free kicks, of course, as per always, it's set on four. Because why? Newcastle are fantastic at the dead ball situations. Of course, like I said earlier, Karen Trippier, Experts, dead piece deliverer, set piece deliverer. Did I say dead piece? My my word. Set piece deliverer, of course. And um, yes, fantastic at it. As for the instructions, we're going to start off with Nick Pope, of course. Come for crosses. And you can have him as a sweeper keeper, although I do feel like he is not a good enough sweeper keeper to have. Of course, ball to feet is not his best thing, but saving the goal is. So come for crosses is essential, and I have it set on balanced. As for the fullback, slightly different. We have it set on inverted, and that is that for Dan Byrne. Of course, you can have him join the attack, but he's not really like that. And you can have him stay back while attacking to create a more or less back, back three, while Kieran Trippier bombs on. But of course, 
he does go forward from time to time. I mean, I think he has scored a few goals as well this season. So have it as a balanced attack and of course inverted because you want to create space for Anthony Gordon to run and, and so on. Um, and it also creates um, a decent amount of space for Dan Byrne to play into if he does make the occasional run forward. So yes, as you can see here, I did skip these guys, but I realized in the gameplay um, when I was trying out the tactics that conservative interceptions are essential as these boys were absolutely dead on their feet when using them. So conservative interceptions is elitely, well, is key, I should say, to making them elite center backs. Um, but yes, that is the only alteration we have for our two center backs. And then as for Kieran Trippier, we have him set on join the attack and overlapping runs. That does play a, a role in the instructions for the wingers. But yes, Kieran Trippier, like I said, great at delivering crosses into the box, great at delivering set pieces, and you want him involved in the attack as Newcastle do in real life, consecutively, consistently, and always there for the team. As for superstar Gimaraish, we have him set on cut passing lanes, balanced attack. Of course, you can have him on stay back while attacking, but that takes away from what he is really good at, and that is being involved in the attacking play and just being everywhere on the field. So balanced attack is key. Normal interceptions, cover center, and he's going to be a deep line playmaker, of course. So pivotal in making sure that the Newcastle attack carries on ticking. And I mean, I've seen him create multiple chances for forwards, midfielders, defenders even. Um, if you remove him from this team, I just don't know where they would be this season. Seriously, that is how good he is. As for Joe Linton, of course, Joe Linton and Willock have a very different set of tactics. But Joe Linton, is, he used to be a striker and Eddie Howe moved him into the midfield. Now, I'd like to say he is a midfielder, yes, but he's a more of like a, from time to time, a second striker making deep runs and, and, and helping um, the, the, the forward, whether it's Isaac or whether it's um, Wilson or so on. So Joe Linton is more or less a second striker in this, but get forward. Um, balanced crossing runs, um, but more or less you can have him as get in the box. And um, yes, and of course, when when your fullbacks get out of position and make forward runs, you either want either Willock or Joe Linton to slot into into their positions and just take up that space. So there's no counter attacking scenario where there's just wide open space left and behind your defense. As for Joe Willock one of my favorite players from Arsenal's Youth Academy um, over the years, and I don't think he was given a fair enough chance by the likes of Mikel Arteta, but nonetheless, Joe Willock, we have him set on balanced attack, get into the box for crosses, it's quite key that you have that on, and um, that is that. He is a very good player at making late runs into the box, picking up the loose balls and scoring goals. I mean, he did score the other day, like he scored a, it was a slightly offside goal, um, but it was like 55 seconds into the game, which was insane. So he is very good at doing that and scoring goals. As for our wingers, we've got different instructions for our wingers. But Almiron is set on comeback on defense. Balanced width, of course, you can have him on cut inside. But I have him set on balanced. And of course, get in behind. So he'll always be making arcing runs to try and receive the ball and get in behind the defense. And then, of course, get into the box for crosses now Almiron is set on this because of course Kieran Trippier is more or less going to play as a, a right midfielder slash winger and Almiron is going to be closer to the striker very similar to what Joe Linton's role will be right as for Anthony Gordon we've got him set on come back on defense stay wide get in behind and get into the box the crosses now the reason we have him set on stay wide is because inverted fullback Dan Byrne when he makes his occasional run up from, from the defense, you need space for him to operate in. And of course, if you have him as cut inside, it just takes away that space and kind of makes the instructions, well, it nullifies both sets of instructions because two players are operating in the same space. Um, and of course, I do feel like Newcastle need a fairly balanced attack in terms of having at least one winger on the touchline and having at least another player in Kieran Trippier on the other side. So it makes sense firing crosses in, making runs in behind, for and creating opportunities for your striker which is this man right here and his instructions are set on default for these first three and of course he will be your outlet ball for um, attacking runs and so on of course Isaac he likes getting his 
the, the ball into his feet and making attacking runs with that, maybe dribbling and so on. Whereas Callum Wilson, he doesn't mind having the occasion get him behind balls. So I just have it set on mixed, do depending on who you would like. But of course, if you have Callum Wilson, it's more realistic to have it on get in behind. But for Isaac, I think the the mixed or balanced play is essential for him to be the most effective he can be, and of course replicate Eddie Howe's set of tactics. So. Now that we have done that, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button down below. And of course, guys, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I hope you guys have the most fantastic damn day ever.